Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Trouble Free. In today's video, I'm going to explain you about the step four in designing a learning system in the subject of machine learning. So till now we have discussed about what, what, what why do you need a design for a learning system and what are the different steps involved in it and this is the step 4 we have already discussed about the previous three steps and if you have not watched those videos just watch because if you understand those steps then only you can understand this step all these steps are interrelated to each other actually but making all of them in a single video will make it you know will uh, become very long and even you will get bored to watch that video so I've uh, you know break down the video into four parts and uh, now let us see the last one and i want to tell you one thing if you're having your exam schedule nearby just let me know your date of the exam in the comment section so that i can make videos more quickly and also i would love to take your feedback because this is subject which is different from other subjects like operating systems or dbms or computer networks and all uh, because this is not more of a theory part you need to understand this you'll have functions you'll have representations you'll have something related to stats so so many concepts are involved here right so even it is a a bit harder task for me a bit ta uh, challenging for me to learn the subject and explain it so I just want to know feedback from your side whether you are able to understand this or not so that based on your feedback I'll continue and let's start now so the fourth step so the in the first step second step third step we have uh, we have discussed more about choosing a training experience choosing a target function and choosing a representation for target function and so on so here what we are doing in the last step what we are doing is we are going to choose a learning algorithm for approximating the target function so here we are going to choose an algorithm that algorithm will approximate the target function okay so let us see what happens in this step actually so first in order to learn uh, to learn a target function you need some training examples right so in order to learn or in order to understand in order to define a target function also you need some training examples you need some set of predefined data right and why you need this training examples because these training examples will describe a particular board state that is in which state the uh, in which uh, phase the board is like it is in the winning state or in the losing state like that it will define the board state and also the training value what is the training value training value is represented by v train of b okay and you know when you are representing a target function when you are representing sorry when you are representing a training example how you represent that is in the form of a ordered pair where the first coordinate the x coordinate is b which is nothing but the both state and the y coordinate is which is nothing but uh, the ordinate we say actually so v train of b okay so b comma v train of b abscissa and the ordinate so in this way it is represented in form of an ordered pair what is this representation it is a representation of training example okay training example is represented in this way done so why do you need a training example first of all training example is required in order to understand clearly about the target function okay don't confuse between the words training example and target function training example is different target function is different okay done so here what we are do going to do is so now let us see the example first black won the game let us assume that black won the game right if black is winning the game then what happens x2 will be equal to 0 what do you mean by x2 number of red coins right so to understand this you must have understood what about what I've explained in the step 3 so that's why I said watch previous videos and then come here which means you don't have any red and x2 is red which and also x4 is also red what does x4 represent black red king right even we don't have a red king because we don't have any red coin so obviously no king also so th that's why you'll get x4 as 0 x5 as 0 x6 as 0 why because what do you mean by x5 number of black pieces which can be beaten by red right so you don't have any red pieces there so there is no chance of uh, beating black so x5 is also 0 and x6 is nothing but number of red pieces which can be beaten by black actually there are no red pieces on the board so x6 is also equal to 0 so x1 is equal to 3 x1 is nothing but number of black pieces and x3 is equal to 1 x3 is nothing but number of black things okay so this is how you represent the b both state like what is the state of board how many red coins are there how many black coins are there how many black kings are there so like that you will be representing all the coins on the board 
and so since you don't have any red coins you'll have x20 x40 x5 and x6 also as zeros okay done and here you got v train of b is equal to plus 100 and in order to understand this you must you must have first understood about the step 2 where we have different values right what is in the step 2 what we we were actually doing in step 2 we were defining a target function right so that if it is won it is plus 100 if it is lost it is minus 100 if it was a draw then it was zero right so here since b won the game right we need to take the value of v train of b as 100 done so this is how you represent it x1 is 3 and all and so on done plus 100 in the last because it is won it is in the winning state therefore plus 100 if it is lost then minus 100 if it is draw nothing plus 0 you will do it right so again so once you write this function once you represent this you need to do again two steps here in the process of approximation once you are done up to writing till here then you need to follow two steps and let us see what those steps are the first one is estimating the training values okay so first thing that you need to do is estimating the training values and the second thing that you need to do is adjusting the weights what do you mean by weight again weight is nothing but in in my previous video i explained the importance the weightage of a particular feature right that is called as the weight so first you will be estimating the ta training values and then based on the estimations which you have done if the if the estimations which you have done are not appropriate then you need to adjust the weights okay done so let us see that now so yeah as i said we have uh, two steps in the process of uh, the i mean in the process of choosing an approximation for target function so the first one was estimating the training values right so here what we do is in each and every step when we are doing the estimation we will be considering the successor so who, what do you mean by successor successor is nothing but the next person right so depending on the next step of the opponent you can say done so you need to assign a value right you need to assign you v train should be assigned a value of v successor of b so what is the state of the successor what is the next step of the uh, successor our opponent what is the next step that is going to happen on the board whether he will be making a move towards my side or which will help me or which will destroy like that you know it will represent the next both state what next next what uh, the opponent will do uh, i think you guys are getting confused uh, let me explain it again so when we are uh, playing a game so let us consider some some board game we are playing some carrom board or chess or whatever it here here in this example we are considering checkers right so in checkers if you are here you have only chance of moving diagonally and that to front right so here you don't have any chance of moving over this side so you need to move this side and here if you are having any suppose let us say this is black coins here if you are having any red coin you can destroy it right so our red will be predicting whether the step which is uh, going to be made by b will be helpful for me or will it be uh, you know what, what do we say will it be helpful for me or will it be you know it it will destroy me like that it will be making an estimation okay so v train of b will be assigned a value of v successor of b that means this successor will represents the next both state okay so it will estimate whether that this move will help or destroy the opponent okay and he we are uh, this cap symbol is nothing but the approximation you can say okay done so in each and every step we will be thinking about our successor we will be trying to estimate about our successor okay done so this is the first step that is estimating the training value so once we are done with estimating the training value so now what we have to do is we need to adjust the weights right so how do we adjust the weights let us see so first we have uh, estimated the training values and we got some values right so here we will be using some algorithms in order to find the weights of the linear functions they are linear functions as i have explained in my previous video right and here we are using in this uh, example in this video we are going to use the algorithm of least mean square lms algorithm we are using and this lms algorithm is mainly used to minimize the error right so the error which is present in the weight is minimized by the help of this lms least mean square algorithm and how do you find out the error you can find out error in this way v train of b minus v this is not n actually this is cap the cap symbol uh, v cap of b and uh, cap to okay so in this way we are going to find out the error and after finding the error if we get error value as 0 then 
we need not change any ways that means no error right error is zero is nothing but no error right so in that case we need not change any of the weights and if the error is positive here if we get a positive value here then you need to increase the weights so you need to increase each and every weights in a particular proportion whether in you'll be increasing each weight with two times or you'll be div uh, not division if you do division it becomes a smaller value whether you'll be multiplying it with two or three so you will be increasing each and every weight in a fixed proportion so that the value will not change right and if the error you got is negative then in that case what you have to do is each and every weight has to be decreased in proportion so in a fixed proportion you need to increase or decrease based on the error is positive or negative if it is the case of positive you need to increase if it is a case of negative you need to decrease the weights okay so in this way you need to adjust the weight so how do you adjust the weights you need to follow the lms algorithm by using the lms algorithm you need to find out the error and the error is resulting in zero which means this is the um, weights were perfect you need not make any adjustments and positive and negative you need to increase and decrease respectively okay so that's all for this video in this step we have learned how to you know approximation of a target function how to choose an approximation for target function right so that's all for this video i hope you guys understood whatever i've explained in this video but even still i tried my best to explain it to you in the best way but still since i said this subject is somewhat you know challenging when compared to other some of the subjects so i think you guys may face some difficulty in understanding but still try to understand it watch for the second time and all so that you can understand and that's all for this video let's meet up in the next coming video with another topic if you're still having any doubts just let me know that in the comment section and also if you have not yet subscribed to my channel do subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you can receive notifications whenever i post a new video and if you want me to uh, you know explain any other topics or any other subjects just let me know that in the comment section i'll definitely do it for sure and let's meet up in the next coming video with another topic and thanks for watching